Ads on me UI. We've talked about it quite a bit in the past, but it seems like they're here to stay. All the more so since Xiaomi just spun off Redmi into a separate sub brand. So, what's the best thing to do if you're using a Redmi phone that's throwing up a bucket load of ads? Well, buy another phone. Okay. You know what, jokes apart, let's explore the options in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. And as always, here's a card to our monthly giveaway in case you've missed it. Okay guys, now before we start, What's the most intrusive ad on your Redmi phone that you're seeing? You know, let me know in the comments below which one annoys you the most, you know, let me know. Now, getting to this video, in an older video, I did talk about one method to block out all ads or rather somebody, one of you guys suggested it on Twitter. So in case you've missed that, here's a refresher. Then this is a workaround that we've gotten from someone on Twitter. Settings, advanced setting, authorization and revocation and disable MSA. Do it twice and reboot no more ads now the problem with this is that it is not consistent some have reported that it's worked for them on the other hand others say it didn't really help them especially with me ui 10. so we got thinking how to get around this you know short of selling the phone and buying another because watching an ad every time you unlock you know every time you use uh the video player and pause you know or a full screen ad before an app opens that's just super annoying super intrusive and when you've paid full price for a phone now i know some me fans are gonna say hey you didn't pay full price for it xiaomi is pricing phones competitively due to these ads and that's how they run their business but i beg to differ at every segment today xiaomi has others who are offering as good or even better value without the ads the one segment where xiaomi is uncontested is probably the poco f1 which is a sub brand phone and surprisingly enough that phone doesn't really come with ads anyway these are all things for a different video for another day let's get back to the workaround so first up we can disable ads by turning them off on a per app basis say for example with the music app just go to settings scroll down go to advanced settings and disable the show recommendations option you need to do this for all system apps individually if you don't want ads in the me video app then you need to turn it off there and if you don't need it in the themes app well you get what i'm saying uh, this should stop these apps from displaying ads but at times this might not work if it doesn't then here's something a little more drastic this method involves uninstalling the system apps completely and just using other ad-free alternatives instead. Now to start uninstalling the system apps, you need access to a PC. Now don't worry, we aren't gonna root or do anything that breaks updates or might cause you to lose data. Just go to the description below, download ADB drivers for PC, install it. Once done, open the settings app, tap on about phone, then tap on MIUI version seven times till it says you're now a developer. Now come back to the main settings menu, go to additional settings, go to developer options, scroll down and enable USB debugging. Next go to the folder where you installed your ADB drivers, double click on the command here option. Now connect your phone to the PC, go back to the command prompt window, type ADB devices and press enter. After some time you'll get some text like this meaning your device is now connected via ADB. Notice that it says the devices are authorized. Now check your phone and you'd see an authorization window. Tap OK to authorize. Next up, go back to the PC, type in ADB shell, press enter, and then copy and paste one of the commands in the description. There is an individual command corresponding to each system app. Once done, it should throw up a message saying it was a success. You will see the app disappear from your phone after this. I'd only recommending deleting apps like Mi Pick, the music app, Mi Video, and the file manager. Deleting just these apps won't cause any problems. Now that we've uninstalled these apps, we can download other ad-free replacements to the Play Store. I'd recommend using VLC or MX Player Pro for video playback, Phonograph for music, and Solid Explorer instead of the Stock File Explorer. If you know of any better replacements, do let us know in the comments below, maybe it would help other people out. Now, you can also just store all the stock system apps in a folder and just ignore them if you don't want to go through all this trouble for uninstalling them. Okay, so before I wrap this one up, I gotta put in a word about one more option. 
you know, installing a custom ROM. It is kind of difficult and I know root bootloaders and custom recoveries are terms that most Android users aren't familiar with. But if you are the sort of person who isn't afraid to tinker around with your phone, then installing a custom ROM is always a viable option. So if you are using MIUI and you're tired of all those ads, well enough, you know your options. What do you prefer the most? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, it is now time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about it. Also subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.